You know, if there's one thing I've loved doing, it's bringing affordable night vision to you guys on the channel, and this is no exception. Today, we're taking a look at the Ak Patel NV30. I always like to think of night vision as a prepper superpower without spending the thousands and thousands of dollars for military type stuff. So today, we're going to take a look at it and check it out. Let's get to it. All right, folks, welcome back. So I want to leave the box up here to give you a quick look at what this looks like. It is a rather unique unit. It, it, what I like about it is it's a bit slimmer. Um, it's not a big, huge, bulky, you know, those big wide ones like that. It's a bit slimmer. It does have a little carry handle that I'll show you in a sec. It does have a spot to put it on a tripod both ways, okay? Very, very neat little system. And the thing that really kind of makes it different is it does have a uh, mode that you can set and you can see eight HD color in night vision it's an unusual kind of mode it picks up on the ambient colors like when we test this out later i'm going to show you uh my rose bush in front and you can kind of tell that it's red but the other colors are a bit muted i would say it's a low light mode not complete darkness it was complete darkness in front of my house and uh it seemed to do okay now the um, ir mode is impressive and so is the daylight mode. Um, you know, when you watch, use this thing in regular daylight, it can be used to uh, act sort of like a, a binoculars of sort. It, it does have two zooms as well, which kind of differentiates this from a lot of other units. It has an optical zoom as well as a digital zoom. The optical zoom allows you to zoom in fairly well, but the digital zoom gives you that little extra oomph to get you all the way out there. And it's really impressive. Very, very clear. Um, I did, you do have that manual focus here. So I have been, I was focusing it in and out so you'll see that it's not this automatically going in and out of focus. It's me messing with it. So quickly, I want to talk about it. It enables you to record um, video in 1080 uh, HD, 1080p HD. Lots of high quality photos as well. I'm just going to do video for the demo here because you can get an idea of the video from, from the photos would look like from the video. It does feature a Sony IMX night vision sensor. It generates images with less noise and greater clarity. And that is something I did notice. You'll get a lot of pixelation in some of the digital video on some of these other units you know it'll be like kind of pixelated and be like kind of grainy this thing was crystal clear at night other than me messing around with the focus on it it does have an interesting little feature on it that allows you to use the ir as a spot or a flood i'm gonna show you that really quickly here in front you can pull this out all right oh sorry i wasn't in camera you push this in or pull it out if you pull it out it's more of a spotlight if you push it in it's more of a flood wide angle kind of thing so that's kind of handy too it does have a bunch of different little features on it that really allows you to do a whole lot of more customization to it so it does have a 40 millimeter multi-coated objective lens okay gives you 80 percent light transmissions with less glare and the 12 lens design will give you a much clearer picture all right so with recording on this i want to let you guys know all right the audio on it is not the best, okay? And it's like that for every night vision device I have used that has been a digital night vision thing. It's kind of muffled, kind of quiet. Honestly, I don't really know where the microphone was, so it could be me just uh, holding it the wrong way and covering it up, but I'm not really sure, but it is kind of muffled. The audio leaves a little to be desired, but again, I'm not really using it for audio. I'm using this for observing at night. Now, I can at least hear myself. So, what we're going to do is take a look outside, give you a nice, clean look outside. Again, the audio is kind of eh, but it's more of an afterthought. So, let's take a look at videos that I took earlier outside. So, this is what it looks like in the daylight. That's your focus. Try to zoom. There you go. Okay. So that's your focus. A little bit. We're going to try the uh, digital zoom here. There you go. Okay, very, very clear picture. Really nice looking picture. You can zoom all the way in. What I want to do here is show you the manual zoom. Keep hitting the focus. There we go. That's your aperture. And this is your manual zoom. Now when I zoom in, I'm going to have to focus a little more. As I zoom in, and focus. You can see that manual zoom works pretty darn well. And there's much more to go. I just don't want to zoom it all the way in. It would get really boring for you guys if I keep zooming in. So there you go. Let me tell you a little bit more about it, and we'll take it into night mode. All right, so we're back inside. You saw the clarity on that. It's a really nice lens. 
really nice and clear. So your observation distances on this, all right? In a low light state, you're gonna get about 500 meters. In a light state, you'll get infinity like we saw. I could zoom right up to the mountain, no problem. And in a total black state, you'll get about 350 meters. So I wanted to talk quickly about the zoom on it, like we saw me using it out there. You get a 6x optical zoom, which is kind of different. You know, every other digital night vision device I've tried doesn't have that nice, smooth optical zoom. Now, as you saw, I had a focus as I was moving. That's perfectly normal, but it did have that really nice zoom in. You also get a 60x digital magnification setting. So you can really see stuff up close and personal, very fine details with it. I do like the screen. The screen has a kind of a pitch and a yaw kind of display. I don't know if it can display through the camera. I'm gonna turn it on and let you take a look because it's kind of neat. And there's different modes that you can put it in. I have it in this, this uh, expert mode. I don't know if you can see like the, the target in there. And I purposely have the black cover on it so you can see. So as I move it, it will go from degrees Minus 20 degrees, 30 degrees angle there. Let me get up close. Oh, there we go. So you can kind of see. That won't show up on your video, but you can see it on the screen, and it is um, actually pretty darn impressive. Really nice that you have that there. So you'll have three levels of IR light. Of course, you have the uh, the night full color mode. Now, again, I'm going to call that more of a low light dusk kind of a mode because you saw when it was pitch black, you could see some stuff, but nowhere near the details when you put the IR on. And then you have the three levels of the IR. So you have nine levels of brightness, contrast adjustments. You have an aperture adjustment, which is really, really nice. Um, on the end here, I can open up that aperture and I can make it so much brighter, even on the lowest setting. So that's really nice too. Now, if your eyesight isn't perfect like me, I wear glasses, you have this huge relief back here. And one of the nice parts of it is you can actually hold this, you know, that far away from your face and you have a big screen in there to see everything. So you'll be able to see everything in there. You have a nice 40 millimeter objective and a nice coating on the lens. So you get a really nice picture, nice soft silicone hood here. You can push it up against um, it is fairly sturdy too. It's got a rubberized kind of body to it. So it is a very sturdy little thing. It does come with a, a card. You will uh, charge it via back here. It is rechargeable. There's your SD card in there. And there's your little USB-C port. Um, it does charge up very quickly. I had no problems with it. Okay. So you got a three inch color display on the front. Like I told you, 1080 uh, pixel on it. So you get nice high definition images and the HD technology processes the image through a unique imaging system that allows that widescreen to see a little bit bigger. All right, so we're gonna start off in what they call a full color mode. There is some color to it. I hope the focus is okay. My side light just went off. So now you can actually see what it really looks like. Um, again, I wear glasses, so for me, I have to kind of hold this out from my face a little bit. There we go. That's the full color mode. Moving on to the next mode here, with a little bit of light, a little bit of IR that is. And there's a little bit more, and you see it lit up my uh, the back of my uh, my thing out there, my post office box there. And a little more. And there we go. That's wide open. So as you can see, and I can open the aperture with this, which is really cool, and do that and not mess with the zoom. You can see how bright that is. That's bright as day. I'm going to move it around a little bit for you so you can get a good look. I'm going to go up my, my palm tree here. And yes, I finally got them trimmed. Whoa! Get away from that edge. There you go. Try to focus it a little bit. Again, you know, as you're zooming in and out. There we go. That's me messing with the manual focus, by the way. It's not doing that automatically. There we go. So you can kind of get an idea. The picture in this is really good. I hope it's coming out good for you guys on on video. We're going to go through the modes again here real quick. All right, so that is back to full color mode. Go over to my Jeep here, which is, of course, white, so you can't really see. We'll work our way through the modes. A little bit brighter, a little bit brighter. That car just made a U-turn back there. Just messing with the focus a little. Okay, so there you go. Let's take it down the street a little bit. Turn up the IR a little more. There you go. That flashing you see is a uh, cell phone tower. So there you go. Pretty impressed with it. The night vision has been really, really nice on this. 
And the full color mode is kind of cool. I think of it more as a novelty. I'd rather have the uh, the uh, night vision mode on. So anyway, that's it. Here's a view I bet you thought you'd never see. This will give you a little idea of what it looks like indoors. I know the focus is good on this. Open up the aperture a little bit. That, that was me changing the focus. You see how clearer a picture you're getting inside here. And don't mind the paint on there. That's for a project. So there you go. All right, let's get it back up on the table. And we'll finish up the review. So, pretty darn impressive. Again, you know, the audio is kind of muffled. It's more muffled than anything. I'm really not sure where the microphone is. That's something I'm probably going to ask them because this is a unit I'm actually going to keep because I really like the way it, uh, it works. It's also a little bit smaller. It does come with a nice case here. Let me show you the case. Okay. So you have a nice protective case. You will get a charging cable for it. And when I put this on, and I will put this on, I'm not a big lanyard person, but this I actually put on. This goes across from here to here and allows you to kind of let it hang down in front of you or carry it around by the strap. So that's kind of handy too. So it's definitely a nice little package. The price on it is not bad either. It's a little more expensive than some other digital night vision technology. However, I assume that that's because there's a lot more built into this than most. This runs $339.99. Now, at the making of this video, there is a coupon on Amazon. It's nothing to do with the manufacturer. There's a coupon on Amazon that will give you $50 off. You know, it's right under the price. You just click the little box and it will give you $50 off on this. So that's pretty decent. All in all, a definitely nice, decent deal. You can switch this off too, which is nice, and watch all your videos and your pictures on screen so you can see if you captured what you got. So let me give you a little bit of stats on it. The video resolution is uh, 1920 by 1080 at 30 feet per second. Your photo resolution, you got three resolutions. You got 2560 by 1440, 1920 by 1080, and I found that to be the best, clearest one, and the 1280 by 720, okay? The shape of this really does make you able to hold it a whole lot better. I found this was much more comfortable holding it like this for long periods of time than the bigger ones that are kind of wide, big screen, supposedly things. Um, I found this a lot more comfortable to hold. You won't get as much hand fatigue with it. Now the best part about this thing, and this is something that drives me nuts with the other digital night vision devices, this thing has a huge battery life. 3,000 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium battery inside. It can be continuously used in daylight for seven hours or four to five hours with the IR lamp on. So you definitely gonna get more than enough time. You gotta, you can, it also supports the solar charging so you can charge it via solar and direct charging as well, like we did with this. I just plug it into the wall using an adapter and it charged up right away. I actually charged it on my computer, which is kind of handy because when you plug this into your computer, not only are you charging it, but a drive will appear and you'll be able to pull everything off there. And that will say Aquatel on it and that's your drive there. So all in all, I think it's an excellent little device. Definitely wanted to give you guys a look at it. They kind of uh, caught me off guard with it and I didn't expect them to send it for me to review. And it took me a while to get to the review and sorry about that folks. <laughs> but uh, I've just been really, really busy. So I just wanted to give you guys a look at it. I really gotta say I'm really impressed with this unit. It's more like a digital camera you know, than the other night vision units that are kind of lacking in some areas. And the clarity on it is absolutely amazing. You guys saw in the daytime shots, it's just super, super clear. So I'm impressed with it. I will leave you a link down below. It'll also be in my Amazon store if you're interested. And like I said, at the making of this video, there's a $50 coupon off. It's underneath on Amazon. Okay, it's nothing I'm providing or the company's providing. It's on Amazon. You can check it out. Oh, forgot one more thing. It is IP65 rated. So if you're out in the mist or the rain, it's not going to get destroyed. It's pretty well sealed up. Again, the only real open place down here is here. And that seals up really tight and nicely around there. So, all in all, good deal. Definitely liking it. So, that is the Aquatel NV30. You have color night vision on it. You have five different modes of the IR lighting. And you have an awesome daytime video as well. I thank you guys for watching. The link will be down below for it. Do check it out if you're interested in something like this. Again, um, I think for the average everyday prepper, digital night vision is making leaps and bounds. If you guys have seen the Psionics unit, that thing's amazing. And that's digital. Okay, I think it's making leaps and bounds and it gets better over time. Yes, it's never going to be as good as a Gen 3 or, you know, 3 plus whatever military night vision unit. But 
this thing does have a whole lot of potential built in and i think for casual observing for keeping an eye on your homestead um, even if you're not remote even if you're just in a big city uh, the ambient light will help you out a lot and you won't have to use as much ir light and the ir is barely subdued it's not obnoxious some of these things you'll see it in ir and it's just a bright glowing red light it is fairly subdued so that's kind of cool too so do check it out it will be below in my amazon store don't forget to check out my amazon store if you guys don't want anything in the store and you just want to help out the channel just click the link shop as you normally would on amazon we do appreciate when you do that my freeze dried wholesalers link definitely check them out they are restocking by the end of this week next week he should be back to somewhat normal and you'll be able to get some stuff in there i do have another video for him coming up we're going to do an outdoor cooking video and i'm going to show you how it looks so that's coming up soon too and my link will save you 15 percent on your order i know it's been a it's been a rough road with you know him running out of stuff and some of you guys like to get it every month i see your orders come in every month so definitely check them out all right below that is our my patriot supply link now you guys got to check this out this month my patriot supply at preparewithiridium.com you're not only going to get three months worth of survival food but you're going to get 200 dollars of free survival gear with it so if you're just getting started you want a good kickstart to your prepping program this is the way to do it check it out there at preparewithiridium.com and below that our freeze dry thrive life store do check them out as well i thank you guys for watching stay safe and stay prepared